Hey guys, Eileen Vick here for Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. And I'm on the continuation of my coloring um, in the Mademoiselle's Cats. Let me turn that music down just a little bit. You know, I like to have background music when I'm talking to you guys and, and actually doing my coloring. And by the way, let me show you this. Um, this channel that I've got is called Whisperings. They do not compensate me for this, but <clears throat> so at all, but I love them to death. I've been a subscriber for years. It's nothing but piano music. I think it's like 20 bucks a year. I don't know, 20 or 30 bucks a year. But my gosh, you break that down by a month. That's very inexpensive, a couple bucks a month. Okay, so anyway, so that's what the background music is that I'm playing. And again, this is my Mademoiselle Cats. And the project that I'm working on, let me get that book out of the way. The project that I'm working on is my two page spread. And this is the side, I have finished this side already. I've coated it in a whole bit. Um, I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out really well. But I wanted to talk a little bit more about how I'm achieving um, these effects. Let's see. I love the cats. I'm a pretty person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 11, 12, 13 cats. Okay, so 13 cats on that particular page. And I'm going to show you a little trick that I use to highlight them and have them pop out because they kind of got lost with all the leaf patterns. All right, I'll talk about that later. So now I'm on this side of the page. You can see that I've already done um, two extensions. Love, love, love the colors. So I'm going to show you in detail what I'm doing now. And let's see, so what I'm basically doing is I'm looking for the branch, which is right here. I've got a color in the rest of that to be consistent, so that'll come down and, you know, that comes out to there. So the next total branch is this guy here. You can follow my fingers, goes all the way out. All right, so as you can see, because these are all blank ovals, no, ovals. Whoops. Oh my gosh, I have got to get new paper on this table. This is ridiculous. Anyway, the little eyes. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going through and let's see, I see a little background here. Let me catch that. That should be blue. Oh yeah, I gotta quit doing this. I am so easily distracted by stuff, it's not even funny. Okay, anyway. So, you can see that these particular shapes do not have anything in them. Now, if you have the cat's book, you will notice that a lot of the cats in there have these little... Um, V's for fur. Let me find a page that has that so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. So, see how there's these little V's here because it indicates fur? Uh, let me see if I can find another one. Yeah. And then there's this one. So, they're not leaves, they're fur. So on this page, I need to figure out a way to distinguish the leaves and rather than have them blow out to be nothing but leaves, I wanted to go ahead and have just the leaves around the tree and then have the rest of it kind of be like the fur. So that's why this side has the triangles, okay, or the V's, excuse me, and this, has the leaf pattern. So let me go ahead and show you this. Now, this is painstaking, it's a little annoying. 
but it's okay because it's worth it because the piece when it's done is going to be absolutely drop dead gorgeous all right so what you need to do is you need to figure out what is leaf and what eventually is going to be fur so you got to really watch how far you want to take out your leaves so you can see right here that I took them out this far, okay, and then made the Vs. Here, I took it out this far, because these are all leaves, and then the rest of it is the um, V with the shading. Now, I'll talk about the shading in a second. So we've got a couple things going on here. Number one, I'm adding the pattern. And number two, I am um, coloring with some shades of color of the color. All right, so let me show you how I'm doing the pattern. Very simple and straightforward is, pull you in. So let's see, make sure you can see that, yep. Okay, so I just draw the line and I just do a simple little V. There you go, got a leaf. And this is where it gets a little tedious, but that's okay, you listen to some nice music, no problem. Got to do upside down V's. And I'll show you in a second what pen I'm using. And it can go relatively fast, but just be careful that you don't get sloppy with it. And see how sometimes I run the line going down the leaf off center, much more interesting. All right, so let's see, this is all one here. And again, this is where you really need to look and see where your leaf is. Okay, so make sure I don't get off camera, I'm good at doing that. And again, it can get a little tedious, but trust me, it's worth it. And I'm not gonna do the whole thing for this broadcast because then I would bore you to tears. So I'm gonna do some of the leaves and then I'm gonna do some of the fur because I wanna show you how I'm coloring it and the difference between the two. Okay. Make sure I'm still there. Where am I? Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. And as you can see, it really doesn't take a lot of time, but I would caution you is don't get so reckless that you you know, screw up on detail, like right here, I've got a couple of hidden leaves right there, so you gotta be careful what you're doing. <clears throat> okay, so all of these here are right next to the tree. Change that direction. And just pay attention to what you're doing so you don't put the wrong thing inside. But see, anything that's basically next to the bark, I'm going ahead and making a leaf. Okay, and I'm gonna pull this back just a little bit so that I am more comfortable. All right. <sighs> little V's, curve that, little V, little V. Little V. Oh, and by the way, Whisperings has what they call their free stream, so Every once in a while, they pop in with a commercial, but the only commercial that they air is a commercial for their own series. So you don't hear anything 
elf. It's pretty neat. So you're not going to hear about Tide soap or anything like that. So do your favor, do yourself a favor and go ahead and download that to your iPad or your phone and then you can listen to music while you're doing this. Okay, so now I need to start making some decisions here. So this leaf right here, I'm going to go ahead and do that as a leaf. That's sky. I'm going to do this as a leaf. I'm going to do this as a leaf. And let's see, this is a leaf. All right. Now we need to start deciding on a couple things. Okay, this is bunched enough that I feel that this is still a leaf. And again, I, I will get to coloring and this is a leaf. Okay. And obviously this bunch is here. So let me do the forward ones and not all of them. All right, now we need to start making some decisions here. As you can see, here's where we've got the lead off for what I'm gonna call my furs, fur leaves. And I need to decide how far back I wanna go with it. There's this set right here. So looking at this branch, You can see that it kind of still fits in with this tree. So, let's see. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so now, however, I'm gonna leave these to be my little fur leaves. All right, so now I'm gonna go here. This is my branch, so obviously we got that, and that, and that. And I'm gonna stop right there because otherwise I could end up doing all this and I really don't wanna bore you to death. All right, so, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a line down the center and then I'll know that those are gonna be leaves. Okay, there's a leaf because it's attached to the tree. There, there, there. All right now, here comes a decision. What do you wanna do with this? I'm gonna leave that be a V. All right, now this tree goes out to there. And I'm gonna go behind the cat. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one, that one, that one, that one. So make sure I'm still in camera range. Like I said, I tend to get off kilter a little bit. Okay, now here's another decision that I need to make is these guys here aren't really attached to anything right in the center. So I'm just gonna look at the ones that are attached, draw my single line so I know which ones I'm thinking about. And I'm going to leave the other ones blank for the moment. Uh, let's see. 
see. Okay, there and there and there, of course, there. See, these are going to be my little fur leaves right here. And you know what? I may change my mind later. I don't know. It depends how everything starts to color out. We'll see. Don't ever, ever be afraid to change your mind about stuff. Oops. That got a little off center. That's all right. I'll make it work. All right, now again, I'm just doing the leaves directly next to the tree so I can decide what to do with these other ones when I get there. And as I told you, I'm not going to do them all because you'd really kill me then. All right, so that's enough right now. All right. So now I gotta look and see what I want to do, which ones I wanna do with the little V thingies. So, that, let me go over here, cause it's the easiest to see. Oh, wait a minute, let me do something here. So that one and that one and that one, and for sure, and this one, that one, that one. Okay, and again, I'm just doing this to get the ones closest to the tree. Oops, sorry, closest to the tree so I can decide my patterns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do all leaves just in a little crotch here. So now, let's go back up here. Now, and looking at this, I'm going to go one more with the leaf. All right. So now, and oh, by the way, let me show you what these ink pens are. I love them. All right, where are you? They're the Micron set. You have different sizes. This is 01. They come in a little set. Um, they're archival ink, meaning permanent. They won't get weird. Here's the set minus one of my pens, which I can't find at the moment, but I will. Uh, <clears throat> so that's a 0.01. That's a two. There's a three. This is a five. <clears throat> oh my gosh, excuse me, an eight. And then this is a brush. Okay. And then we have a um, graphic pen, which is like a marker. <clears throat> Excuse me, I gotta get some water. Okay, one moment. Uh, turn that music up just a little bit. Excuse me. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do my little fur leaves. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do those. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of sample coloring so that you can specifically see how I'm doing each set. Um, heads up on this, what I'm basically doing, see this gold right here? All right, I made the gold the basis all the way back. And then I added a little bit of brown in this case to the base. And then when I did the gold here, I darkened it down the middle. So in other words, the difference between this and this is it's all the same, except this has the color, uh, the specific color that I chose on top of it. All right. So let me start doing what I call my little fur leaves. I'm right there. All right. So here, I'm just going to make little V's. Okay, and these little V's are ultimately 
what's going to be the stuff that's expanding out and is like the fur of the cat, which I showed you earlier in the book. So that's just a matter of putting random tiny V's on my outward expanding leaves. Now, in this case, be careful you don't end up making little check marks, which I did there. Got in a hurry. Uh, let me see. Yeah, okay. And again, do not get in a hurry. I know this is tedious, but trust me, it's worth it, I think. Okay, so I'm getting out near the top here. And I'm getting in a hurry and making little check marks again. I'm right handed, so my right part of the V tends to be a little stronger. So just be aware for you when you do this. Okay, so let me get these little back ones here. Oh, and by the way, for those of you that were a little confused about the video that came up about Dear Mama Hen, I inadvertently put it up on my coloring channel. But what it is, is if you read the description, which I did ask you guys to do, whoever watched it, is to see that I am looking to reach out to people who are lonely. You don't have to be that way. There are people out there such as myself who are interested in you and care about you and don't want to see you sitting there by yourself. Okay, so now what I'm going to do up here is go ahead and expand that just a little bit. Let's see. Okay, so that'll be a leaf. And yeah, I think I'm going to leave that. So it's going to up and oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. And you have a nice little dip there. All right, so I've done enough V's and enough leaves that now I can show you how I'm going to do this coloring. All right, let me grab, let's see where I am here. I'm going to grab that where that should be blue. Okay, yeah, I think this is going to look really cool. All right, let me go ahead and make these leaves here since they're so close together. And doing this project is why you want to have great music. Hey, if you want to rock to Queen, rock to Queen. <laughs> oh, but anyway, Dear Mama Hen. So, it's to reach out to people who are feeling lonely. I don't want you to feel lonely. I want to discuss some things with you. I want to try to connect some of you, if I can, safely. So... I hope that you start responding to my videos. 
And yeah, I'll get them on a separate channel. I just didn't realize how to do that at the time. Okay, so. Now you can see the difference between the leaves and the fur leaves. All right, so I've got two colors that I've chosen. One is my um, Guang Hao, uh, which I'm pronouncing wrong, I'm sure, color 130, which is my lighter green. And my Guang Hao 113, which is a darker green. All right. Let me grab my paper towel, which I always tell you guys to put under your hand. So now I'm going to work right here. And very lightly, I'm going to start coloring in my leaves. And actually, let me see something here. I just made a boo-boo. Uh, let's see here. Give me a minute. Oh, my boo-boo. I don't know if I can fix it or not. Yeah, I can fix it. So these that I just colored <laughs> actually need to be gold and brown. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Okay. So let me get back here. All right, now these are my fur leaves that I'm coloring. Okay, and I'm gonna color this my light green. off this one leaf here. Let me see where I am. Bear with me. This is all going to make sense in a moment. All right, I'm going very lightly with my lighter green color, okay? because these are my leaves that are now falling off the tree. Okay. All right, now, here's how I'm doing the leaves. So, I'm gonna do the leaves the exact same way. All right, the light green. Except now I'm going to take, excuse me for reaching, except now I'm going to take my darker green and go ahead and pop in that color at the base. And yes, my point is breaking. Okay, and my brush disappeared. Let me see where that went. Can't find it. All right. So I'm gonna brush with a napkin. All right, so here I am. All right, now let me do the light green here. And again, the only ones I'm doing this are the leaves with my leaf pattern that I drew in.
Now, if you want to, because I'm using the lighter green, which I'm also using on my fir leaves here, if you want to, you can you can go just a tad darker. And that'll make for some interesting contrast. All right, let me sharpen my pencil that I broke. And now what I'm going to do, hopefully without breaking again, is I'm gonna go ahead and darken at the base of each of those leaves. And you can start to see how I'm gonna start having a really nice color pattern. Isn't that pretty? If you want to come up the side of the leaf a little bit, that's fine. Do it with a single line, though. But for the most part, I want you to stay at the base. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go back to my lighter green. Two, two. All right, let me catch my blue sky here a little bit. All right, so now I've got my lighter green here. All right, let's make sure I don't mess that up again, which I won't. And you can start to see how I'm getting a really nice contrast with my fir leaves, the ones that have the V's in them. Don't get too dark. You want it very, very light, and I'm going to show you why. All right. Using the same pencil now of your lighter green. Let me do one thing real quick, if I may. Let me go ahead and finish this out to the edge so you can just see it more clearly. Very light. Oops, there's a leaf I missed. There's my little V here. Very, very light. Notice that I didn't color over that leaf that I just put that V in because I wanted to give it a second to dry. So I didn't smear it. All right, let me make sure I'm still in the camera. I am. Okay, because I'm going to show you one more technique now with this V here. The V leaves. The fur leaves. Okay, so there you go. And now you can see a really pretty contrast All right, let me pull out just a little bit. I don't want to go too far. Doesn't that look cool? All right, now you're gonna still take your light green pencil and I would suggest at this point you sharpen it. All 
All right. And now what I'm going to do, working from the top down, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little line down the middle of each leaf, just basically on the V's, on the V's. I'm not gonna do it very heavily, okay? And notice I'm not hanging around on each leaf very far. I'm just touching those little V's. Okay. Because you don't want to get too dark with your coloring and otherwise you lose your dimension. But just color in your V's. Just swipe it with a little color. And my pencil lead's breaking. I hate that. I've been having a lot of problems with my, my um, Guang Hai pencils. I don't know why I will not buy them again. I don't know what the problem is, but my points keep falling out. All right. Yeah, and I can tell where I colored. Unbelievable. Well, give me another second. Broke again. Now, one of the things that you could have done with all these leaves in the appropriate colors is use your metallic um, gel pens. That would have been really cool. In fact, I did that with one of my Daria books. Um, I'll have to find it. Remind myself to show you that. All right. Hopefully I won't have any more breakage. Again, I'm just hitting those V's not coloring in the whole thing. All right. Cool. All right. So now let me hit those blue spots or white spots that need to be blue. Okay, let's make sure I got all those that do. Yeah, I'm gonna color that blue too. Just for a little bit of leaf separation. And yes, I colored over. All right. So let me turn this whole thing out so I can show you. And yes, there are contrasting colors between this green and that green. I hope you can see it. Um, this one is different than that one. But anyway, that is how I'm doing all these leaves. So I'll go up here and do this batch and then as I'm coloring, I'll come down here and do this whole set that's off of this branch. And then I'm gonna do this little set right here that's off of this branch. And I'll just have a few of my fur leaves, you know, arch over here. So that's gonna look really cool. All right, I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed that and enjoyed the coloring. Oh, one more thing I wanted to show you. Um, I did make one mistake is if you notice the green that's coming up comes up in a peak see that and this comes up in a peak all right guess what this does not come up in a peak it went more curved so i may try and erase this yellow and go you know and get some more brown in there we'll see um no biggie but it's bugging me 
and you can see also that this is coming up in a peak here so just be sure if you're doing this page with me or if you're doing something similar that you don't make the same mistake all right guys this is eileen vick for adult coloring with eileen vick and i really hope that you enjoyed this video please give me feedback and let me know all right take care god bless you bye